puppet. Chapter One: An Unexpected Party. In a hole in the ground, there lived a hobbit. Not a nasty, dirty, wet hole filled with the ends of worms and an oozy smell, nor yet a dry, bare, sandy hole with nothing in it to sit down on or to eat. It was a hobbit hole, and that means comfort. It had a perfectly round door like a porthole, painted green with a shiny yellow brass knob in the exact middle. The door opened onto a tube-shaped hall like a tunnel, a very comfortable tunnel without smoke, with painted walls and floors tidied and, carpet, and a carpet provided with polished chairs and lots and lots of pigs for hats and coats. The Hobbit was fond of visitors. The tunnel would wand on and on, going fairly but not quite strangely into the side of the hill. The hill, as all the people for many miles around called it, and many little round doors opened out of it, first on one side and then on the other. No going upstairs for the hobbit bedrooms, bathrooms, Dealers, paint parties, and lots of these wardrobes. He had whole rooms devoured with two clothes. Kitchens, dining rooms, all were on the same floor, and indeed on the same passage. The best rooms were on, were all on the left hand side. Going in, for these were the only wants to have windows, deep set round windows looking over his garden and meadows beyond sloping down to the river. 